All right, we're recording. We're recording this meeting of the October uh, Weathersfield Shade Tree Commission meeting in accordance with the governor's executive order 7B. Tonight is um, Tuesday, October 13th, 2020 at seven o'clock. Um, number one, all right, I see uh, some commissioners here with us. Um, myself, Corey Christians, Mark Alpert, um, Alex Graver, Bruce Graver, and our uh, town council liaison, Mary Pelletier. I'd like to call this meeting to order, and is there any public comment as the, at this time? Just where I'm supposed to do that bombing thing? What's that? Is this where I'm supposed to do that bombing thing? Don't do any Zoom bombing, <laughs> which would be disruptive and you'll be booted from the meeting, okay? I don't see anybody in the waiting room trying to get into this thing. All right. So we're not that cool, I guess. But um, number three, moving on, seeing no other public comment. I'm moving on to old business. Um, old business is to approve the September minutes, which this meeting was just Mark and myself. So just, I guess, let it be on the record that I don't know if we made the, the quorum, but there was a meeting that we, that we had and we didn't act on any of the decisions we made in, in, in the interest of, you know, out of the caution of we might not have made the quorum. So uh, did you get a copy of the September minutes to, to see what it is, at least the, the work completed and what we talked about. Wasn't any trees to look at either, right? That month's meeting. Say again? There wasn't any trees to look at, correct? Hold on. In the September, in the September new business, there was the same request as is first here in the October meeting, which is the request to remove three shade trees, which is two hickory and one red maple from the forest border at the left or east side of the lighted, of the lighted Little League ball field near the Millwoods gravel parking lot. So that one is a repeat just because, um, first off, it, we, we, weren't, we, weren't, we didn't approve it out of some level of confusion because the, the postings were getting ripped off a few times actually. I was gonna say I couldn't find them a yeah. couple days ago, Corey. Yeah. Uh, I saw two hickories and an oak in the corner of the parking lot and this wasn't in the corner of the parking lot. I know it was tough. It was it was tough to it's tough to describe this area, but despite my best efforts at marking it and then doing some trimming to make the tags visible, um, the tags were torn off, which is frustrating because there's no communication from folks that are tearing tags off, which are most, in my estimation, they're, they're, opposing, they're opposing the removal, right? But their voice is absolutely not heard. And then, you know, in some, sometimes it forces our hand because in, in waiting a while, it, something becomes an emergency or it just, you know, I guess it's somewhat effective from someone who's not who, who's interested in avoiding the removal um, because it, it has to wait a little longer. I don't know, but it's it's generally just people should communicate so that we can we can discuss their objections. You know what I mean? If if that's what it is, objections. You know. The trees need to come so, down, correct? Sorry, the trees need to come down, right? I agree with what's what's requested here which it's it's in-house it's from our parks department who wants to do a better job taking care of the field and this isn't just this isn't just somebody saying get these trees out of the way so i can mow in a straight line which is which is kind of easy to to say no to you know but um this is somebody who's trying to get a couple more hours of daylight on the turf uh within the within the fence so that the turf has, you know, is, is has better integrity and durability and, and whatever other pro health measures there might be for turf. 
Um, what we're what we're not doing here, or I guess if we're still talking about the September um, agenda or minutes, what we're not doing here is cutting down woods and replacing it with something that's not woods. We're just taking down the tallest trees. Um, or the horizon. So yeah, we're taking down the tallest trees, but preserving the forest border in in a as being younger. So that way, there's there's increase to safety in in case like these lar large trees at the edge of the woods want to tip over, um, but also in you know meeting their goals of the sunlight. You know what I mean? Um, in this area, I also assisted them by improving some airflow, which helps with fungus on the turf also, uh, you know, reducing fungal populations. The, the other removal, Alex, that was on, that was talked about and actually approved by Mark and I at the September meeting was a, um, a white pine that's at the left side of the driveway entrance. Um, it's about halfway down near where that, where that brick, um, those two brick pillars or something are. I don't know what you call them exactly, but um, halfway down the, the Dick Dobmeyer entrance, there's the two brick formations on either side of that driveway, you know. And this is just, this is just near that. And then, you know, again, anything else? Or do you guys want to talk about that as far as the, the September minutes? Well, we have to make a motion to accept the September minutes, correct? Yeah, and again, we can, um, so this white pine was approved in September, but other than that, you know, we talked about, you know, I just presented what we wound up planting this year so far, and we're gonna do um, three trees this fall, and I'll talk about, I'll talk about that, but um, that's the only one that, that was, that's the only item that was binding from the September from the September minutes. And yes, we would need a, just a motion to approve the minutes. Well, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Seeing second. Alex as a second, um, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you. All opposed? The September minutes pass. Just give me a moment to write down attendance. All right, see, uh, that's all for old business. So number four, new business, um, the request um, to remove these trees at the at the left or east side of the light of Little League, Little League field are repeated here. And is there any discussion on that? I think you gave a pretty good explanation for it at this time now. I'll make a motion to remove the trees unless anybody else has a discussion about it. All right, is there a motion to remove these trees? I'll make the motion to remove the trees. Sorry, yes, you did. Uh, is there a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Mark. Um, all in favor of removal of said three trees, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Uh, unanimous decision to remove these uh, requested trees. Thank you. There was, um, there was just another call um, from way north on Ridge Road. There's a tree that turns out to be a town tree at 97 Ridge Road. Um, in my opinion, it's a removal. This tree was not tagged, but it was one of, um, it was one of one or maybe two that were out in front of this address on Ridge Road. Is there any discussion regarding the request to remove declining red maple at front left of 97 Ridge Road? It's obvious to me. You know. Papa's pretty much hollowed out. 
I would agree with that assessment. If the tree has to go. Yeah. All right. Is there a motion to approve that item? I'll make a motion to take it down. Alex makes a motion to uh, remove the tree. Is there a second? Second. Bruce, thank you for the second. Um, all in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, motion passes. That's all for new business. Um, item number five is September work completed, which uh, <coughs> like was said about the August work completed in the, in the end of the September minutes. Um, it wasn't well recorded because it was, it was still in the mix of uh, recovery from Hurricane Isaias, but any uh, any um, comments on or questions on September work completed or before? Overall damage uh, in uh, Weathersfield. What's that? How, how was the overall damage in Weathersfield? When did you have it under control? A week or we. It, the hurricane was on a Tuesday, and the roads were all open and passable by Saturday. Um, there is still some damage out there, but it's mostly um, people now requesting work because of because of an, a heightened awareness of tree risk. I think because of some of the recent storms. So re really. You know, after the first couple of weeks where we had 100% of the physical services staff doing tree work, um, and now of course that's kind of it's kind of back to normal now. So it's the it's the two of us on staff usually doing tree work. Um, really, each if you average it out each day that has passed since that two weeks, three weeks post Hurricane Assaies. We've really only gotten deeper behind in, in our backlog for tree work. So there, you know, really we're kind of past it, but there's there's a ton of work that's associated, I think, that, that seems to me like it's correlated with that storm event. Well, that's that's exactly in, in the private sector, uh, Corey. That's yeah. exactly what we're seeing. Yeah. Uh, people have the spook, we call it the spook factor. They're spooked about their trees now. Yeah. I'm right. down. Right. You know, and uh, then there's that one thing. And then people don't believe me when I say we're backed up till Christmas time. And because um, there is a lot of damage still out there. There's stuff still on the ground that we have got to get to. It's in the backyard. And it, it's yeah. great to have all that work like you too, but it, it Horrendous. It was a bad storm. Imagine, yeah. Corey, if the, this was in Connecticut, category one or two, it'd be complete devastation. Yeah, category one or two is a big deal for us. I think it was a one. Right. And, and Corey, because um, uh, I went to these meetings, uh, statewide meetings, of, of what we're going to do if a hurricane really hits Connecticut. And yeah, I saw a preview of this with the tree companies around the state. Everybody got hit, Corey. Everybody. Every yeah. tree company in every county is busy. And so there's no help. There's no extra help. And did you see, Corey, that there's no um, oddball tree services coming to the aid anywhere here? I haven't. Anywhere. That's true. There's less cowboys around. That's right. I, I don't understand yeah. that either. And we're finding out, I talked to Ed Marchand today about it, yeah. you know, and he said, where is the other tree companies? They're not answering their phones. They're not even answering. These are legitimate companies. The guys, we're getting calls. It's really unbelievable. It's like yeah. the tree guys have enough work. They're not doing it. You know? It's like you saying to the town, oh, I'm giving up. We can't do this. We're just, you know, we can only do so much. But you got to just keep going every day for it. <coughs> Yeah, um, your mic's cutting in and out, Bruce, a little bit. Okay, all right. I don't know if there's something partially covering it or what. Are you got? Are Mary and Mark? Are you experiencing the same thing? 
Yes. Okay. I hear you fine. I don't hear Bruce too well. Just, just see if there's something. Just, just look. I don't, you know, we. I think we heard you, but just in case, like your hands near it or something like that, like. Maybe there's something partially blocked. Yeah, a, th a thousand sticky notes across the thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we're busy. And um, just something that I'm, I'm satisfied we got to in September is, is a major pushback of the forest border on either side and the whole way down uh, Progress Drive, which there's a correct school back there. If you if you're not sure where that is, where that is, Progress Drive is on. It is off of Wells Road, right right almost where it meets the Turnpike. You you push back all, all, off the roadway. Off. A sort of a brush clearing pushback, if you will, like uh, volunteers that matured into some larger stuff. And yeah, I'll have to check it out. That they that, needed it. That needed yeah, it needed it. Um, what else? And just nothing else really sticks out. There actually, there was a, um, I don't know if it was, might not have been September. There was a big deal hazard that was hung up over um, the 400 block of Church Street that Eversource wound up handling by contractor. They hired Distinctive and did it, did it by Crane. But um, that was a that was the big deal that actually was sitting up there for a, a week or so after the storm. That was that was a big hazard. So glad that was taken care of that incident. Where was that? It's a it's basically it was a private tree removed, but it was a hazard over Church Street. I believe it was. For, I don't see it on on my list of work here. Oh no, there it is. It's early. Four ten Church Street. It's essentially the top elevation of Church Street up higher towards the high school than Wilkett Hill. It's almost, the, it's like the crest of the hill up there, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Do you, does anybody have anything else? Well, that was a that was a big load of work you did, and that was uh, um, I congratulate you on clearing this stuff out. So yeah, that's that, that's good. Thank you. Brooke is joining us. Sorry for my tardiness, everyone. No problem. We are, however, near the end of the uh, the end of the agenda. Did I'll give you a chance to. Um, to bring up any concerns uh, at this time, it seems like we're essentially all the way all the way through reviewing the September work completed. Um, my only concern is that I am a bad uh, committee member who has been unable to make many meetings recently and just joined this one really late. So apologies, I'll do better. All right, thanks. Um, this, do you have any Do you have any tree concerns um, at all, though? Just just broadly. Um, no, not, not that I can, okay. not that I can think of right now. Uh -uh. Sure. I, I do get messages from, uh, from people on occasion and, um, I, uh, have encouraged them to send me an email so I can send it to you. So I'll just forward on that on to you as I get them. Outstanding. Okay. Um, seeing nothing else, uh, motion to adjourn. To do adjourn. A second. Second. All right. All in favor. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks, Brooke. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye.